Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to import a CSV file into SQL Server using bulk insert SQL query. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience from Microsoft Technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to import a CSV file into SQL Server using bulk insert SQL query. So let's jump to the demo. I got a CSV file on my D files location. The CSV file name is email underscore info dot CSV. And if I open this particular file in the text pad, so you can see that there are some person's information like their ID, first name, last name, email and gender. And in the first row we have the header information and then the data is separated by the comma. So this is how the data is formatted. So I will be importing this particular CSV file into the SQL Server database. So in my SQL Server to the 19 instance in the work database, I got a table, email table. So the layout of the email table is very similar to the CSV file. So I got the ID, first name, last name, email and gender columns here and their data type is worker 50. So it can insert the data from the CSV file. So right now this table is empty and I will be writing the SQL query to import that CSV file into the SQL Server table. So this is the insert query that we got. It can be modified according to our scenario. Here we need to give the database name but because I am already in the same database so maybe I can just remove this one. So we need to write bulk insert and then table name. So our table name is email. So I can replace this value with the email and then from path to CSV files. So our path of CSV file is this one d files email underscore info. So I can copy the path from here and then I can just replace this value with the file path. Now the format of the file is CSV and it will import the data from second row and if the field code is double code then we can use the double code but in our file there is no field code the fields are not separated by any value so maybe I can just remove this particular with clause and then the field terminator is comma in our case fields are separated by comma so I can put a comma here and I will share this SQL query with you so maybe you can use it in your scenario and the row terminator is the this hexadecimal value so this value is for the line feed so I think this will work for our case so right now th this will import the data from the second row for example if I remove this particular clause then this will load all data from the source file including the header information as well so maybe we can just try that out so let me just execute this query so now you can see that it imported 1001 records into the SQL server table and if I check the data in the SQL server table, so it imported everything from the table including the header information as well. So if I show you the file, so in the first line we have the header information and from the second line we got the data. But because I had not given the value to the first row, so that's why it imported everything. So maybe I can just truncate this email table and then I can give a value to first row. So first row will be 2. So it will import the data from the second row which is the first row actually because in the first row we have the header information so I think let me just rerun this query again bulk insert query so now this imported 1000 records which were the actual data in the CSV file and now let me check the data again so now we got 1000 records in this particular SQL server table so I think it's quite easy to import the data from the CSV file into the SQL server table using this bulk insert query because it is very faster and it can import the data very quickly. So thus, for example, if you are trying to import the data using import export wizard or SSIS package, then I think this SQL query is, is very much faster. So I think we can use this one as well. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you like the video, then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.